Milanisti. I don't have any bells and whistles for you today. No graphics, no pictures, no fancy videos, no cuts and edits. It's just a rant. It's just a pissed off Milan fan ranting. Today's loss was embarrassing. That doesn't mean I don't love the guys. That doesn't mean all 20 of them are my Valentines tomorrow. That just means that I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off by the type of performance they put in today. This was Milan's first trip to La Spezia. That means you're playing a team for the first time in its history. That means you have a team that is going to be extremely aggressive. They literally have nothing to lose. For them, it's not a match. For them, it's an extravagant event. The great Milan, the seven time Champions League winning Milan is coming to their La Spezia Stadium. You know why the camera angle at the stadium was so low? Because that's about as high as their roof gets. Because you can't plant a camera on on the 20th floor in a building that only has 10 floors. That's the humble size of La Spezia and Spezia as an organization. They came into today's match with the idea that we can lose, it's fine. If the first place AC Milan comes to our stadium and beats us, that's what the odds maker are expecting. But you know what would be fun? If we just go for broke, just go for it and see maybe we can squander up a win. They kept pressing. They kept pressing high. I, like an idiot, tweeted that Spezia is gonna press high for a little bit and then they're gonna start getting tired. And then the quality of Milan will come up. Yet that never happened. They never got tired. The quality of Milan never even took off. So the one thing to remember in this is, you cannot, cannot undervalue an opponent because they had nothing to lose and we're actually the ones who ended up the losers. Coach Pioli at the conclusion of the match in the press conference said, this was Milan's first deserved loss. I don't think so. I think this was Milan's first most humiliating loss. Our loss to Atalanta made sense. Losing 3-0 at home is never undeserved. And certainly today was absolutely humiliating. Now for the usual excuses that we would come up with. We don't really have injury problems anymore. For the longest time in the season, we had so many injuries and we use that as an excuse that we're gonna fall off the top, but someone or the other kept performing. And now we finally have a squad that is back to almost full strength. We had our full strength squad and they beat our full strength squad. It's difficult to really pinpoint a specific player that didn't work because to be honest, none of the 11 guys showed any serious type of quality. However, the one specific player, I hate to do this, was Diogo Dalot. He was so painfully ineffective on the right. I, for the longest time, have looked at Davide Calabria and said, is it just a one-off season or is he someone that Milan can consistently rely on? And what I realized today was we missed the heck out of Davide Calabria. None of the guys showed up. Again, don't want to single out a specific player, but I kind of am doing that. I don't know if you guys saw my previous video, but I had a lot to say about Salamakers. I was pretty pissed off at Milan fans for being critical of Salamakers, repeatedly ripping into this guy who's been out injured and just made a few appearances lately. I'm not for unnecessarily criticizing Milan players, even though I just shit on uh, Diogo Dalot, but at the same time, I like the guy. I'm just pissed off about his performance today. However, man, the guy's been ineffective for a few games now. I heard the comments say something and I'm gonna get to the commentators too trust me I heard the commentator say something about Salamakers where he was like this is the first time we've actually said the guy's name all half yeah yeah that's that's the telltale sign of which players are showing up and which players are absent but Salamakers for a few games now has been pretty ineffective and he better straighten up because he's got Castillejo in the background who's saying, hey, give me a chance. And Milan fans are like, holy crap, no. So basically we don't even have a solid backup on the right wing. So we really need Alexis to start playing well. Do you think we should put Alexis on the bench and Jens Petter Alga should be the one who should be starting? Guys, the only thing worse today than Milan's performance was the commentary. What was the commentator even talking about when he said that that should have been a penalty? I don't understand how that should have been a penalty. I, 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 I am failing to understand how this guy has the audacity to make everybody else feel like an idiot and somehow claim that he sees something that none of us saw. All four feet, not four feet, like length. I'm talking about, is that four feet? Maybe. But what I'm talking about is the things that you put your socks on. We're outside the box when this foul took place. How are you repeatedly calling that a penalty, bro? Nobody watching the game thought that was a penalty. The referee didn't give that as a penalty. VAR didn't give that as a penalty, but somehow you're gonna sit in your pretentious box with a microphone on your face trying to claim that you know things. Now, when it comes to moving on for the future, 
Milanisti, look, we're still in first place. Inter plays Lazio tomorrow, fortunately. They do play Lazio at home. Lazio can make things difficult, but they are playing them at the San Siro. Inter are in good form, and there's a chance they're gonna sit in first place after tomorrow. But you know what happens next weekend? We got the Derby. We got the Derby. We have to believe that these guys are gonna wanna make up for their performance next weekend and snatch back that first place. Look, we're living in bonus time. When this season started, the Milan management didn't even account for a Champions League finish in next year's budget. And here we are fighting for the Scudetto. We're still in first place. Hopefully Inter loses tomorrow or they draw. We still stay in first place. And then next week at the San Siro, we capitalize against Inter. Milanisti, we have to believe. Thank you for letting me rant to you guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at the Milan Corner. Sempre Milan. Grazie mille. E ciao tutti.